Hi guys. Today we're going to take some notes about natural selection. So make sure you have pen and paper and ready to write. Here we go. This is a cartoon that um, shows us natural selection where you can see a beaver now has a hand like a chainsaw. So natural selection does not grant organisms what they need. It gives them what makes them best suited for a particular area. Adaptation is one of the life processes carried out by all living things. So all living things will find a way to be adapted to their environment. The organisms best suited to their environment have more of a chance of survival if the species falls upon hard times. So the cheetah needs to be able to run very fast to catch its prey, whereas the lion works with brute force or power to bring down its prey. They have different adaptations to help them survive. This idea is known as survival of the fittest, the animals that are best suited to survive in an area that have the best adaptations will be the animals that live in that area. Natural selection is the process by which these fit individuals survive and reproduce to pass on advantageous traits to their offspring. So you are considered the best animal for or plant for that area if you are able to survive and have offspring that will spread through that area. This provides a mechanism for an entire population to adapt to the environment and thus will ensure survival. So natural selection is how populations survive in an area, not particular individuals. Charles Darwin was a biologist who studied the animals of the Galapagos Islands in 1835. Darwin studied finches and how their beak adaptations have allowed them to adapt to take advantage of the food sources in different ecological niches. So when you look at the pictures, you can see that all of these birds look similar, but what is different about them is that they have different shaped beaks and the beaks allow them to eat different foods. When they eat different foods, they're not competing with one another. They have different niches. When they have a different niche, they have a different role in the food chain or food web. Darwin's studies led him to come up with a theory based on the process of natural selection. So what we see here in the picture is that the birds are eating the green beetles more preferentially than the orange beetles. So the green beetles have a disadvantage to the orange. Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection. Organisms produce more offspring than can survive. There is competition among offspring for food, space, and other resources. There are variations among the offspring of an organism caused by genetic differences. So in this picture, we can see that there are puppies that are fully black, puppies that are black and white, and then a puppy that's brown and white. So natural variations or differences need to exist in an organism. These differences are called, caused by genes, and genes are sections of DNA found in the nucleus. Individuals with certain traits are better suited to survive in their environment than those without the traits. So in this picture, the fox with the orange fur is probably at a disadvantage compared to the fox with the white fur because the fox with the white fur can blend in and avoid predators 
and also sneak up on prey easier than the fox with the brown fur or orange fur. So one type is more suited to the environment than another type. Organisms that survive and reproduce pass the genes for their useful traits to the next generation. And again, genes are sections of DNA that come from your parents. And if your parents were successful at being in their environment and getting everything they need to survive, then they had the chance to reproduce where other animals weren't successful and they died off. Adaptations can only happen if there is variety within an offspring of a species. So for the environment to favor one variety over another or one difference over another, those differences need to exist. This variety is caused by genetic variations, the normal differences that exist among individuals of the same species. So when you look at this picture, the snails exist in all different sizes. And in certain environments, it's good to be a small snail. And in other environments, it's good to be a large snail. The genetic variations are normal. Greater variation can be caused by mutations, which are caused by random changes in the genes. So mutations, are caused when DNA or a section of DNA called a gene has a change. Mutations can be helpful or harmful. Selective breeding is the process of breeding plants and animals for particular genetic traits. So in the picture here you have a cattle that has been bred for beef production. So this cow is very, very large. It's not bred to be a fast runner. It's bred to produce a lot of meat for steak production or beef production. Selective breeding is most often seen with domestic animals like cats and dogs, which are bred for specific traits such as size, health, looks, fur type, or their specialized job. So we have different breeds of dogs and we like the characteristics. We want our dog to be very um, big or our dog to be very small. We want our dog to be very friendly or we want our dog to be um, very good at um, hunting. We want specific traits in the animal. Selective breeding is also common in organisms for the consumption such as cattle, chickens, pigs, fruits, and vegetables. So all of these vegetables pictured here have been bred for particular qualities. We want those qualities in our food. Traits that are favorable in these organisms include growth rate, survival rate, disease resistance, meat, egg, flesh quantity. So in the, in the eggs, we want the eggs to be larger and to last a long time. In the turkey, we want the turkey to have a lot of meat. For the cattle, we want the cow to have a lot of meat. We want the organism to have particular characteristics and we decide what is favorable. That concludes our talk about natural selection. Please get your notes copied and placed into your journal.